So we get the question a lot, um, how do we create a window tag that is unique for every window? You'll notice when you go to tag all of your windows that it'll tag each window that's the same type with the same number. Okay, so that's just showing that Revit has the ability to tag uh, in different ways. So in this case, when you tag something, it's basically asking a question of that object, right? It's not actually inputting, you know, you're not telling it information. You're basically saying, what question do you want to ask of that window or door? So when you tag something, it's saying, okay, what question should I ask? So by default, Revit's, Revit's window tag is asking the question, what, um, what type number is this? So in this case, it's type 15. This one's also type 15. And every time I have this window type, it's going to number it 15. However, when you have a door, and you have a number of different kinds of door. Let's say we have this 36, we have a 34. When we go to tag those under annotate, tag by category, it's going to tag these by its instance, right? So this is door instance number one, door instance number two. Even if this is the same, I use the same door type here, and I go to tag it, it's still going to call this number three. So Revit has a different way by default of tagging its doors than it does tagging its windows. So again, by you know when Revit tags its windows, it's going to say, okay, everything that's of this type is going to get the same number. Where it gets to doors, it'll say, even the doors that are of the same type, it's going to give them a unique number. So the reason is because the tags are asking a different question, right? For doors, it's asking which number door is this? For windows, it's asking which type of window is this? Which type of window is that one? Okay, so it's keeping those the same for windows and unique for doors. Okay, so that's the difference just by default, the way Revit tags windows versus how Revit tags doors. Now, if you want to go in and change the window tag so that it tags these in a unique way, there's a way to do that. So you can select the window tag, go to edit family. What we're going to do is we're going to change the question that this tag is asking of that window. So instead of saying, what type of window is this? We'll now tell it, we'll have it ask the question, what instance number is this? Okay, so we click on the label itself. You can say edit label. And you'll notice that by default, it says type mark, right? So that's the, that's the mark for that entire type of window. So every time you have that type of window, it's going to get the same number, right? I want to remove that. So I select it, select the parameter, remove it. And instead of type mark, I just want mark. So I click mark, add that over. And now it'll say mark over here. I hit OK. And you'll notice that symbol changes. I'm going to say load into project and close, and I'm going to load into this project that I'm working on. Do you want to save changes to this tag? Yes. And I'm going to give it a unique name. I'm not just going to call it window tag. I'm going to call it window tag mark. I've already done one here. So window tag mark, hit save. That's because it's looking for the mark. And do we want to replace it? Yes. Okay, so now if I delete these old window tags and I go back to annotate tag by category, it's going to tag these in a unique numbering system. So I used, again, if I click on this and go to edit family, click on this, go to edit label, you'll see that I'm using the mark parameter instead. So now it's not looking for type mark, it's looking for the specific mark for that one instance of the window. Okay, so I can close that, close that, no. OK, 
Okay, so now my windows are getting a unique tag, just like my doors are. Okay, so I can go into my, again, I can create a schedule based on this. So schedule, I can find a window schedule. And when I, that first thing that I put, I'm going to make that, I'm going to put a mark parameter as my first column in my schedule. Okay, so mark gets dropped in. I can add all the other information with height, manufacturer, comments. I can add all of that with those. Manufacturer, we'll add that, comments. You can add more than this, but just to as an example. So now you'll see that mark is being labeled here. So I have one through 10 showing up and I have all the other information showing up here. Okay, so now that's how to change your window tag so that it's unique for each uh, window rather than for the entire, giving the same number for that entire category.